And that's it from the presentation area. Well, the party will begin for sure. The Indian team have finally reached the moment they can lift the trophy. And it's got to be a special moment for every single one of those members of the team and support team. Fireworks will be going all night. The party will go all night and all day. Sonny, how are they feeling, do you think, at this present moment? Well, they'll be ecstatic. They will be cherishing every single second from now on. In fact, from the time Mahindra Singh Dhoni hit that six, they will be just cherishing, trying to remember every moment. It's, it's a moment that comes rarely in, in, a, in a sportsman's life, in a team sportsman's life. Somebody who plays for a team, somebody plays an individual sport, you can go on to win majors. But a World Cup in cricket comes every four years. And therefore, they could be changed in personnel next time India play in the World Cup 2015. There were some members of the 2003 team who had uh, suffered in the in the finals against Australia. Some some of them are here now as winners. For them, it will be a moment to, to rejoice, a moment again that they will remember forever. More importantly, this this photograph is going to be where they, they will they will keep that photograph with them. But when they get back in the dressing room. That is going to be the, the biggest celebration. Well, as the Indian team celebrates here, a huge announcement made by the Board of Control for Cricket of India, the President, Vishal Khanor. Each of the players of the Indian team will be awarded with a, a one crore rupees each. The support staff that includes uh, Gary Thurston and company will get 50 lakhs each and the selectors of the Indian cricket team will get 25 lakhs each but one crore each for every member of the Indian cricket team for winning the World Cup and this award comes from the Board of Control for Cricket in India. Well that's obviously a wonderful gesture by the board but I'm sure every single player and every single member of that support team will be treasuring the moment of winning the World Cup. Money is, you know, all well and good, but it's something that cannot be taken away, and that is to be number one in the world in 2011. Be world champions. You'll never, ever take that away from you. And uh, the team are enjoying it. Look at all the cameramen. They want the special shot of the team, the champion team here tonight. Yes, and the uh, celebrations going on out there, the fireworks, fire display, and that is the trophy. They will be, everybody will be wanting a photograph with the trophy, not just the whole team, but everybody will want that photograph. And they'll want to put it in their uh, bedrooms or their living rooms to remember the moment. They remember the night of the 2nd of April, 2011, when they were part of a team that made history. They were part of a team that won the Cricket World Cup. Well, the fans will get a chance to see the World Cup. The players are going to walk the World Cup around the ground and every player will want their chance to put their hand on that cup. It's a heavy cup. I'm speaking from experience, having held it myself in 1999, I should say. And they're getting the whole crowd to stand and cheer and just share in this special moment, lifting it to the crowd. The crowd plays such an important role that have been right behind this team throughout this World Cup. They have indeed. They, they, they've got tremendous support from uh, the fans, not just in India, but outside in the world where cricket is followed. India has got a lot of fans and they all must be rejoicing wherever they are, whichever part of the world they are. That is a special moment for all of them as well. It's the belief of the fans, it's the, it's the prayers, it's the little things that they do for their favourite team, for their favourite player that goes a long way in helping the team to win. I know lots of people in India and overseas would have said, look, if India wins the World Cup, I would probably give, give up meat, I'll be a vegetarian or some such thing. Or they might say, I might, if, I, if it was me, I would say, hey, I will never eat sweets in my life. But you know, I've been part of a World Cup winning team, so I won't make any of such any such promises. Look, there's no chance of that happening. There's no chance of you giving up your sweets. And there's uh, 
Here's Chala. 